question. So I'm, I'm the rookie of the bunch. Um, my mass econ story is only about five years old. And it's, it's a story of competitors coming together, working together uh, collaboratively um, on one mission that is much greater than any individual, uh, greater than any organization, and frankly, uh, or any mun municipality or county. And I think that is what um, is so great about Mass Econ. Five years ago, I sat down with Susan Houston and Brian Cohen, um, who was the then chair of Mass Econ. Brian, at the time, also worked for Transwestern, a formidable competitor of CBRE. Fast forward today, we're now colleagues uh, due to, you know, uh, a merger of firms in our, in our great city of Boston. But uh, over those five years, you know, even though Brian was technically a competitor, uh, we really grew to be colleagues, is what I would consider, uh, mass econ colleagues. And I think it's rare where you have a competitor um, politely recruiting you to join an organization, welcome you with open arms to join a board, uh, work together on projects that were all for the good of the Commonwealth. And, and I think that is what I love about Mass Econ, is that it is uh, such a unique collection of people, of resources, uh, of expertise that are solely dedicated to growing and strengthening that connective tissue between those public and private partnerships that, that Bob and everybody else talked about. And that, the, the health of those partnerships is really what I think makes uh, the Commonwealth able to flex its muscle in its might. And so, you know, when I think about why I love Mass Econ and why I've been involved, um, I think it really is about um, servant leadership, really. I mean, this, this, this organization, to me, is really about um, a mission that Susan Houston has a, been a fantastic leader and I think really embodies uh, what it means to be a servant leader over the last 25 years. And so I thank you, Susan. I thank Mass Econ and thank you, everybody.